This is John, a member of World Build. In part four of the intro to City Build series, Buildings and Zoning, we discuss foundations based on building styles, generating lots, buildings, all from roads. Why don't we take a closer look into how we can customize roads further through road modules? But first, let's discuss the two categories of roads that City Build generates. The Dynamic Roads tool lets us create city streets alleyways, and simply draw in roads to generate sharp intersections, while modular roads let us create smooth highways and smooth merges to our roads. How this relates to road modules is that road modules only work on dynamic roads. To showcase road modules, let's go into our city builder mode, import the modern city kit, go into our roads tab, select the two lane A sidewalk under roads tools and draw out a road. From here, we will move on over to the road module sub tab and add in a spline mesh sidewalk and be sure to click add modules to the right. We can follow the help widget on the top left corner and right click any one of our sidewalk segments to replace it. Let's left click on the segment and we have added the spline mesh sidewalks module. Effectively, you can customize any of your sidewalks this way. So on the note of customization, let's create a custom road module from start to finish. We will be using Megascans for this video, but you can use any of your own roads from the marketplace or your own created meshes, but please watch the video in its entirety as the methods are similar and details such as mesh origin are an important part of how roads generate and city build. First, let's click on the Quixel Bridge Content tab, then type in Median. So now we can download the modular concrete median. It's important to note we do not recommend using Nanite for road modules, so let's select the medium quality option, download it, and add it to our content folder. Before we move any further, we need to export two models into Blender. First, the static mesh we downloaded from Quixel Bridge by right-clicking and exporting under Asset Actions, and also keeping in mind to uncheck Collisions and Level of Detail. Secondly, a reference mesh from our city kit which can be found in All, Engine, Plugins, Sample City Kit Content, City Build Sample Content, Meshes, Modular, Roads, and right click on the Sample Bridge module to export the static mesh under Asset Actions once again. We do this because not all base models are oriented the exact way City Build requires it, and we'll also discuss how City Build differentiates sidewalks and medians soon based on the mesh's origin point. Hi, so we're in Blender now. This is where users who have their own models can also follow along. Taking our Megascans into account, we can now import the FBXs and make certain to orient our assets correctly to our reference model by clicking on R. Z, then typing in 90 degrees. For this Megascans model, it's oriented correctly out of the box. Next, let's look at where our origin point is. By clicking Ctrl G, you can recenter your mesh and find the origin point. As you can see, it's centered at the middle. If we import this into City Build, our plugin will generate it at the center, which is not our goal for the sidewalk module. To fix that, we will go to our furthest left-hand vertex point and select it by tabbing to Edit Mode, then under Mesh Tab, Snap, Cursor to Selected, we can get our origin point where we need it in the corner. Next, we will tab back to Object Mode. Go to Object Tab, Set Origin, origin to 3D cursor, and we're ready to export our mesh. Now that we're back in Unreal and have imported our meshes, let's create a blueprint, or BP, and search for road module BP under all classes so that we can pick it as our parent class. Once we click on this BP, let's name our module name to test road module and create a layer. Give it a layer name, and it's also important to set our layer type to modular kit road. Let's drag our material instance into the material slot, then create an array element in modular kit meshes, where we are now finally able to drag our newly imported static mesh into the slot and hit compile and save. To get our new BP to show up in the tools section of the road module tab, we will either create a new city kit or for the purpose of this tutorial, use the modern city kit. 
To do that, we'll go back to all engine plugins, modern city kit content, and there we will find the modern city kit BP. When we open it up, we can scroll down to road modules or just type it in the search box. Add our BP into the array, hit compile, and voila, our road module is located in the road modules tab. Now we can use our road and add our new BP to add module so we can see our results. And it looks like our sidewalk isn't quite aligned to the ground. Why don't we jump back over to Blender and move it down a few units? Now that we're back in Blender, let's tab to edit mode again, press G on your keyboard, and then Z to lock the mesh to the Z axis and drag it down until it's about more than halfway down. That looks perfect. Let's export this through FBX and head on back to Unreal. Following the same importing steps we did prior, let's drag our updated mesh into our duplicated BP's index as we did before, hit compile, and play. Now we can see that the sidewalk is perfectly aligned with the road. Thank you so much for tuning into this tutorial. It's the first one that I myself have gotten to work on, so I hope it was comprehensive and helpful. Wishing you all the best on your deving adventures, and please stay tuned for more tutorials soon. Goodbye.